Hello, welcome back. This is uh, part two of uh, importing your textures from Substance Painter into Maya. We went ahead, um, had you go ahead and add this uh, textures just like you did to the table. So you just need to watch the table. Basically, I'm just going to highlight what I did next to the color map under the base next to color. I clicked on here. And you can see I set the filter type to off, found the texture map I needed to add in there. Um, next to UV tiling mode, I did Udamari. Uh, preview quality, I clicked on generate preview. Uh, and then color spaces sRGB, and, and nothing is changed here. Go back out of the texture, melt on this. This one, is, this one is filter type is off. Found the, uh, the texture. I clicked on uh, Yuta Mari um, and I generated preview under color space I did utility raw okay and I turned on alpha is luminance okay you always want to click on generate preview it's gonna have it's gonna be red and you need to click on it until it goes away so go back again out and then go back into the roughness we had a roughness map filter type off found the the map, Udamari, generate preview, make sure we are, uh, texture space is raw, so utility raw, and then alpha is luminance. Next thing we did was go down into bump mapping, and I made sure that um, in this one, um, off for filter type, Udamari, uh, generate preview, uh, utility raw, and then we want to make sure this is unchecked. It will be checked. You just have to uncheck it. Okay, click off. And there's our texture. Okay. Now for the sphere deco, or let's do the plate first. The, uh, plate, you do the exact same thing. And we'll come back. So you're going to do the plate, all the spheres, the textures for the spheres. Okay, so uh, we'll add those and we'll be good to go. Then I'll take you through the floor. Okay, so the plate, I'm going to go right click and go to assign material. And we're going to go to shader and click on AI standard surface. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back and see after I get all the textures. Uh, put in again if you need to uh, try to do you know remember how to do it just watch the table uh, video again and that will take you through the process okay I got uh, done uh, texturing or adding inputting the te textures onto the plate the plate will turn black because it's got uh, metalness attributes okay and they they kind of come across as black okay so when i click on um the object i'm going to go up to i called it deco plate tx and you can see i've got the color map in uh, inputted in the right place the metalness inputted in the right place the roughness maps map input inputted in the right place and i also have the normal map under bump mapping. I'm not going to go into these uh, for the attributes because they're the exact same attributes as I put placed for the chair or for the table and the chair. So you can watch the table uh, texturing, importing the textures if you need to continue reminding yourself of how to do it. It takes a while. You can watch the video over and over again. Now we're going to move on to the uh, spheres and I didn't texture uh, you can texture these uh, the same just do one texture or you can um, and that's what I'm going to do here so I'm going to go ahead and click on this object here and I'm going to get rid of these I don't I think I did this one as the texture UV let me look at the UV yeah that's fine so I'm going to add a Assign new material, uh, shader, Arnold shader, click on AI standard surface, 
and I'm going to go ahead and add the textures like I've been doing for the rest of the stuff. I'm going to pause the video and then come back and show you what we have. All right, so I have my sphere all completely textured. I followed the same exact steps uh, for all the importing of the and applying all the texture maps to the object. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate these objects around the table. So I'm going to do Control D and move that chair over. I'm going to go, I'm gonna do a control D and move that over like this and then rotate. I'm going to go into my channel editor and rotate that into a negative 180. I think that's correct. Yep. I go in here and yep, that's correct. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the W key and control D and move that over across from the other chair that looks good and then I'm going to take this uh, decoration ball control D and move that up and over something like that and rotate it can kind, of, kind of give it a different rotational value go to the top view make sure it's not going to collide with the other one. I'm going to move that over like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use my tool to, I'm going to hit the Q key, go to modify, uh, uh, snap together, click on the bottom of this object, something like right here, and then click on right here, and then enter, hit enter. There we go. And that should put that sphere next to the other one. Click on this, the original, control D, move it up and over. Uh, rotate it around. Whoops. Nope, I don't want to do that. Click on object. Hit the W key. Rotate that around a little bit. Okay. move that up a little bit and we'll do the same thing with this one where I'm going to go into modify snap together and move around get this one to snap right about there and enter and that's good all right I think that's it for now again if you have problems texturing some uh, your objects and applying and make just watch the video for the tutorial on the table on how to insert all of the textures in the right channels okay all right i'll see you in the next video we're going to go ahead and texture the floor and the glasses